from KLPM News, we bring you weekly updates of the happenings at Liverpool Elementary School, along with the weekly weather forecast with many Portugal. Here to bring you this week's news is News Team 3. Here at the top of the news is Matthew Jansen and Charity Chan. Also reporting are Heather Harris, Eric Nikoloff, and sports with James Rivas and Brandon Smith. Have you made your New Year's resolution yet? KLPM recently took our cameras out to students of La Pluma to ask them their New Year's resolutions. We found some interesting resolutions. Hi, what is your name? My name is Aubrey Hill. Aubrey Hill, what is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is getting all 100% on my spelling test. My name is Janelle Hill, and I'm in Mr. Coping's class. Mm. Hi, Janelle Hill. Um, what is your New Year's resolution? To do better in class and math. My name is Michael Wardman. Hi, Michael Wardman. What is your New Year's resolution? Um, to get my all hundred percent on my math tests. Hi, what is your name and what's your teacher's name? Jack Shremacut. My teacher name is Mr. Copain. What is your New Year's resolution? Math. Math. To do better in math, I guess. What is your name and your teacher's name? My name is Jose Hernandez and my teacher's name is Ms. Backrack. Hmm. Well, Jose, what is your New Year's resolution? That I'm getting um, better at reading. My name is Robert Jiggis, and my teacher name is Ms. Backrack. Mm, well, Robert, what is your New Year's resolution? That I'm getting better at math. My name is Nicholas Anderson, and my teacher's name is Ms. Nishi. Well, Nicholas, what is your New Year's resolution? That I'm going to play baseball and hit more home runs. My name is Cody Ball, and my teacher's name is Mrs. Nishibayashi. What is your New Year's resolution? I want to learn more times and division in my class. My name is Josh Hill, and my teacher's name is Miss Nishi. Well, Josh, what is your New Year's resolution? I would like to go see some cool reptiles. Hi, what is your name? My name is Julia Pesera. Oh, uh, Julia, what is your New Year's resolution? Um, well, it's to be, try to be happy every minute of this year. Enjoy my school, enjoy my kids. What is your name and your New Year's resolution? My name is Kathy Nishibayashi, and I usually try not to make a New Year's resolution because they're so easily broken. So I don't have one. I just try to live each day as best that I can. <laughs> I am Kyle Calandrino. My teacher's name is Miss Reisner. Hi, Mikhail. Um, what's your New Year's resolution? To get good A's. Good. Well, do good. Get A's. And have a lot of fun as it still lasts now. Hi, what's your name and your teacher's name? Jordan Campos, and my teacher's name is Miss Imperial. Hi, Jordan. What is your New Year's resolution? Get good grades. My name is Maria Sanchez, and my teacher's name is Backrack. Hi, Maria, or whatever. Maria <laughs> um, what is your New Year's resolution? Um, uh, yeah. Books and... Help my mom with my baby brother. My name is Stephanie Recto, and my teacher's name is Mrs. Lofman. Hi, Stephanie. What is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to try to stop talking so much in class. I'll try, but <laughs> My name is Manny Portugal. I'm from Mrs. Lofman's room. Manny, what is your New Year's resolution? To go to church every Sunday. Pretty good. I'm Robert Sanchez and I'm in Miss Lawson's class. 
um, Marvick or Robert, um, what is your New Year's resolution? To get better grades in school. Hi, I'm Ryan Williamson, and my teacher's name is Mrs. Lofman. Hi, Ryan, what is your New Year's resolution? To get better grades in school. My name is Adam Gaylord, and my teacher's name is Mrs. Lofman. Hi, Adam, what is your New Year's resolution? To lead the school and have a great year. My name is Joey Sudreth, and my teacher's name is Mrs. Lofman. Joey, what is your New Year's resolution? To get better grades in school. Those were some good New Year's resolutions. My resolution is to eat better and exercise more. I'll let you know how I do. We want to thank all of those who spoke with, with us. That's our New Year's resolution from Cape LPM. I'm Charity Chan. I'm here with Trevor Gomes, student body vice president. Trevor is one of the people in charge of the candy gram sale next month. Trevor, tell us about the sale. The sale is a fundraiser for La Pluma. It, the, they will be sold on February 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. They, um, you can have them sent to any person in the school you want. This is a sample. You can write who it's from and who it's to and have it sent. Trevor, how do you like being in charge of the candy gram sale? Well, I think that it's a little bit of hard work because all the kids in the student council have to fix up about 2,100 of these. Thank you for coming. Hi, I'm Manny Portugal. I'm your new and improved KLPM weatherman. Our new name is Weather Center 99. That's a cool name. Now to the five day weather. Monday it will be cloudy. Tuesday will be cloudy. Both days you will have a good chance of drizzle. Wednesday and Thursday will be partly cloudy. Friday will be partly cloudy with just a little bit more clouds than Wednesday and Thursday. Highs will be in the 50s and 60s all week. Lows will be in the 50s all week. Let's take a look at the Los Angeles County temperature map. Los Angeles, 55 degrees. Whittier, 53 degrees. Long Beach, 57 degrees. La Mirada, 56. And Buena Park, 54. I'm Manny Portugal, your KLPM weatherman. Goodbye. Championship game. Hey sports fans, Super Bowl 33 is coming up January 31st in Miami. Excitement is growing around the country as the Atlanta Falcons go head to head with the Denver Broncos. In action this past weekend, the New York Jets met the Denver Broncos. The CBS first down line shows you how far the Broncos need to go for a first down.
to start at that position in five Super Bowls. And he's making a mad dash for a corner of the end zone. Well, he's gonna take so the Broncos go on to the Super Bowl, beating the Jets 23 to 10. In competition Sunday, the Vikings came face to face with the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons upset the Vikings 30 to 27 and earn a spot in the big game. He's handled the pressure before from 39 yards out. Anderson is good. He knows it. They know it. Minnesota Viking team and battle them all the way down to this. They go on the road and beat the high-powered Vikings. As soon as Anderson touched it, he knew it was good. What a courageous performance by that guy. Meeting me now is my fellow sports reporter, Brandon Smith. What team are you going for in the Super Bowl? Well, James, I'm going for the Atlanta Falcons. I think they'll, they will take it by 10. I'm going for the Broncos by six. Well, I guess we'll find out the 31st. Have you got a Super Bowl party plan? Yeah, my mom's cooking some up some special food f for that day. And we're joining some friends to watch the game. Well, that's all for KLPM Sports today. We'll see you next time. many new staff members this year and as a regular feature in the next few broadcasts we would like to introduce some of them to you. This week we feature Mr. Lewis Medina, our new custodian and Miss Imperial, new third grade teacher. KLPN visits with Mr. Medina recently. Hi, we're here with our new custodian. My name is Luis Medina. How do you like working at La Puma? I think it's a really good challenge. Um, I like working here. It's, uh, how could I say, I moved from Newford Elementary as a senior to La Puma Elementary to a senior. And um, everybody's nice. The children are nice. The staff's nice. I think that I might be here for a little while. Do you have any children? Yes, I have three children. Um, one goes here. Her name is Monica. She's in the first grade. And I have another son that goes to Eastwood, a fourth grader, and a small one that's three years old. And um, my other son will be coming here next year. Uh, his name is Luis Medina. He'll be here in the fifth grade. How can La Pluma stu students help you? They could help by just cleaning up after themselves and behaving themselves and not playing in the bathrooms and trying to clean up the, the area where they're eating. Um, I know it's kind of hard, but I think that you are capable of doing it. And I think that and if it's bad, it's a challenge for you. And, uh, would appreciate it if you could do it for me. I'll appreciate it. We also met Miss Imperial and got to know her a little better. I'm here in the studio with Miss Imperial. Welcome to La Pluma, Miss Imperial. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Why do you like being here at La Pluma? Um, I like being here at La Pluma because it's in La Mirada and that's where I grew up. And that makes it exciting for me because I get to see kids that are growing up in the city that I grew up in. And I also like my fellow teachers and my principal, too. What do you like teaching the kids? Uh, my favorite subject is probably reading and writing. And that's because I think reading, we can read about other people being creative. And writing, we have a chance to be creative. So those are my two favorite, besides art, which everybody loves. Where did you go to college? I went to college at California State University, Monterey Bay, which is in the central coast of California. 
It was a fun school. Most of the people there study science, like marine biology or teaching. So it's an exciting place to be, right on the water. Welcome to La Pluma, Mr. Medina and Miss Imperial. We're glad you're here. That wraps up this week's edition of the KRPM Morning News. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.